Oh, hello. I wanted to talk about gyms today because I recently joined a gym. So let's talk about gyms. You can probably tell I've been working out. I joined a gym. Here are six people you will always see at a James. These women. I say these women, but what I actually mean is that woman. Because there's only one per gym. That's the maximum. There's an allotted quota of physical feminine perfection you're allowed at any one premises, and she's the sum total. If you wanted to express her body using mathematics, you'd have to use the Fibonacci sequence. Of the types of people you'll meet at a gym, she's the only one that you will only meet at a gym. I'm convinced she does not exist in the real world. Outside of it, probably because she's always at the gym trying to look like that. And by meet at the gym, I obviously just mean see at the gym. Because, let's face it, you're never going to introduce yourself to the girl who seems impossibly composed despite how hard she's working out when you're red-faced and dripping of sweat after benching a whopping six kilograms. And I'm a happily married man. Number two, the instructor that looks like this and makes you feel like this. And he's the only guy who's qualified to talk and laugh with the gym's resident hottie. And she loves it as well. I don't know how this happens. What is this? How do you get this? It's totally unattainable. I'm miles away from looking like that, and I've been going to the gym at least twice a week. For a month! Number three, the girl who just sits there, staring at her phone. I'll tell you what, it's a good job this is a 24-hour gym, because it looks like it's going to take you till 4am to finally decide on the exact same Fallout Boy playlist that you listen to every goddamn time. Just get off the quadruple powered suplex machine! You don't know what it does! I don't know what it does, but I swear to god it's my turn to get a selfie of me sitting on it! Number four! Tons of fun! There is always... at least one beached whale on one of the machines, huffle puffing away at every gym. I don't have any jokes here. Um, keep at it. Don't let anyone give you shit. Number five, the guy who knows more than the trainer. It's actually impossible to find this guy in a gym. He'll find you. And if you've never met this guy then, You've simply never been in a gym. He, and it is exclusively a male phenomenon, presumably gave up a successful career in medical surgery because apparently he knows more about the human body than anyone else on the planet. This guy spends his entire session just walking around the gym and critiquing everyone else within earshot and pointing out how they're working out all wrong. I assume after he's finished doing that, he follows people into the showers and gives them a five-point guide on how the hair conditioner works. He did it to me once, and now I've got luster and shine. Look, I swear to God, if you interrupt my Fallout Boy playlist one more time to give me unsolicited advice on my lifting technique, I'm gonna punch you in the jaw. In six months' time, when I've got arm muscles. Do you have any tips on arm muscles? Number six, the creepy lurker. You can guarantee that there is always one really out of place, creepy flab ball with a sweaty mustache who seems to have suspiciously calculated his workout routine so he is always behind the gym's resident hottie. Just remember, on a treadmill, everyone can see that you've got an erection. On a rowing machine, it's a covert bonathon. You're welcome.
it's time to give your heart more than an emotional workout, so pick them up and jog along. A little applause gets a performance moving. Clap, 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 clap. Everybody ready, Chris? <laughs> and arms out. Push, 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 push. It's always a good idea to keep Roger's hands busy. Right, Roger?